every year in the in the, our study area it has flooded for uh, uh, five to six months so people are living a uh, poor condition because uh, they are already a vulnerable community and if flood happened the vulnerability is increased and there are uh, lack of uh, livelihood lack of food and lack of uh, safe sh shelter to live uh, so they are actually in flood situation they live a very uh, vulnerable situation is cut we often say that Bangladesh is the nature's laboratory for natural disasters. So we are not only trying to adapt to the increasing intensity and frequency in a changing climate, but also we are trying to overcome the limits of adaptation and mitigation based approaches. So this is a uh, home that can float. This is amphibious. At the same time, it can provide lifeline services. It has 4,000 crops. Our vegetables it has 2,000 fish 216 poultry birds so that one family can maintain the food security as well as the nutritional security as well this home has 17,000 liter of fresh drinking water collected from rainwater because during flood all the water source just go under water so you don't have enough so that's why we are exploring rainwater and make it available for six months of continuous unavailability of rain Next is, this house is also um, providing renewable energy solutions. Renewable energy is fancy, but it's very expensive as well. Here, in this intervention, we adopted a number of renewable energy options, and our main focus was economy. So we kept the renewable energy cost down from the design perspective and make a home self-sufficient in energy. So this is an off-grid house. It will never ever require any um, uh, connection from the direct electricity. It will run from the five renewable energy options. Another cool feature of this house is every um, piece of waste generated from this house, biological waste, the waste from the <clears throat> Uh, uh, poultry, the waste from uh, human excreta and the waste from the kitchen is fed into a biodigester and we are converting it to energy, methane gas. So this is not only a, sus not only a uh, sustainable house but it, it, the environment footprint is zero. So this is a net zero energy house, the environmental footprint is zero. At the same time, the house is uh, resilient to multiple disasters, it, it, is, it can float during flood. It can stand a category three hurricane and a eight category uh, of earthquake as well. So this is a multiple disaster resilient house.